So you might wonder, why am I putting this video up on Tuesday? Usually that's my prepping videos, not my cooking videos. My cooking videos are usually Thursday. So the reason why is because this is kind of combining some lore in bushcrafting and it can be valuable for prepping. So I made this a Tuesday video because as you know, um, you can drink pine needle tea and that has a lot of vitamin C which could be lacking in a diet in the winter time and that's what the Native Americans used to do. So I have drank the tea and it's okay but definitely isn't my favorite tea but you know I would really rather have some spruce tip jam or jelly because it tastes really great with that it's hard to describe flavor, you know, flavor of the woods basically, with sugar. I mean, how can you deny that? So, I decided to make this a Tuesday video. A couple years ago when I was in Alaska, I bought some interesting jelly. I don't know if it was called pine jelly or evergreen jelly, I can't remember. But it was made from needles from evergreens. And I thought, hmm, that's kind of a, a novelty jelly, I, th I think I'll make it. So I looked on the internet and found recipes for spruce tip jelly or spruce tip jam. And behind me you'll see is a blue spruce and it has plenty of new shoots. So let's make some blue spruce tip jelly. So here's the little tips. You just pull them off like this. And sometimes they have, I was going to show you the brown thing but it fell off. You have like a little husk on them. See these brown? Let's see. We're, here's a little husk. See it comes right off. That's the husk. So you just pull them off. Pretty easy. And you can see the difference in coloration between this kind of greenish color to the blue color underneath. Pretty obvious. So I'm just going to continue doing this until I get six cups worth. I'm also pulling the tips from the spruce here. See they're a little bit bigger, a little bit easier. Again, I'll be back when I get six cups. So here's our six cups. And you can see some of them still have this little brown piece, whoop, there it goes, of husk. We want to remove all those first right now. So here they are. And I pulled some of them apart a bit with my fingers. And here's some of the brown husk I got off. You probably won't get all of the husk off. There might be some in there, but we're going to be straining this anyway after we make our liquid. So it really won't matter. And your hands might get just a little sticky, but really with the tips, it's not that bad. Turn on my burner. Now we're going to add our six cups water. And then we're going to let this come to a boil and we're going to boil it for three minutes. Okay, it's been boiling for three minutes. I just turned off the burner and now we're going to wait. You can wait until it comes back to room temperature or longer if you wish, even overnight. So the longer you wait, the stronger the flavor of the spruce will be in the jelly. Now I'm just doing the first straining. Actually, I'm not seeing any little needles come out. Maybe this is working pretty well. Well, actually, the pasta pot worked well at straining it, and I don't have any needles there. So there's our liquid for the jam. I did find some more needles in this, so I strained it once more using this. You see those little needles in there? Just a few needles remaining there. So now it's completely strained. We've got a pan. We're going to pour in our strained liquid. Okay, 
add two cups sugar, one half cup bottled lemon juice, and then what's optional, you can add honey, a quarter cup, want to stir this that's good enough now we're going to put it on the burner turn this on and we want it to get to a full rolling boil but you want to stir it every once in a while because you don't want the sugar or honey to stick to the bottom Be back when it's boiling. Okay, we have that rolling boil now, and we're going to add our pectin. I'm using some liquid sure gel. I need to pour this in. Squeeze it all out here. Now we need to bring it back to a rolling boil. Okay, we're getting that rolling boil. Okay, Google, set a timer for one minute. Okay, one minute, starting now. You want to stir, we got this rolling boil. And that's why you want a tall enough pan so it doesn't go over. Stir it. <laughs> that was just high enough, huh? Okay, our minute's up. Turn it on. Now you want to sterilize your jars first. I sterilize them for 20 minutes in boiling water. Now it's time to fill them. They have a honey brown color, but maybe that is because of the honey. Well, that <laughs> That could have been a big mess, couldn't have it? Now we just want to wipe our jars the rim. There we go. Add the lids warming up. You don't have to boil them. Finger tight. Now we're putting our jars in our boiling water. Got all our jars in. We're going to put on the lid. And now we're going to boil it for 10 minutes. Okay, Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes, and that's starting now. Okay, Google, stop the timer. Now we're just going to take these out and let them sit overnight. Here they are. They look nice and clear. I don't see any foam on top. And now we just gotta wait 24 hours. Is it gelling or not? Be back tomorrow. Okay, well it looks beautiful, doesn't it? But definite fail. We do not have jelly. So I'm gonna try once more. I'm gonna try with a sure gel and it is low sugar and see if that works. But if not, like I said, We'll have a sweetened spruce tea beverage. Good news, it worked. We have jelly now. So I learned something important to use low sugar pectin in this recipe. But I now have my jelly and it's a rather unique jelly. I think if you make it for your friends and family, they will be surprised. And I don't know, for some reason it kind of reminds me of sassafras. But I haven't had sassafras in so long. I might not be remembering the flavor correctly. So I hope you try out making some spruce tip jelly and giving it to your family and friends so they'll have a healthy dose of vitamin C in the winter. And as always, this is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thumbs up if you like this video. And remember, if it first doesn't work, try again.